Welcome to another way of fitting the shelves to a bookcase. We'll need a bit of 2B1 and I'm using a bit of MDF instead of timber because this is scrap and the timber's already in the job. But what you do, we'll pretend this is the side, get your 2B1 and measure the width of your side, mark it. I've now cut this piece to length. Now I'd hold this with two screws, so I can mark that anywhere. Now bear in mind the screws that you use have to be long enough to go through this timber, but not so long they're going to go through the side of your bookcase. I'm going to be using one of these 10 gauge. Now what I'm going to do I'm not going to glue this on, but what I'm going to do is drill two holes to take these screws, but I'm going to make sure that they're a bit looser than the screw. So in other words, the hole that I'm going to drill is bigger than the screw shank. The reason I drill these holes bigger, so this screw can just go straight through it like that, is if you're using timber, not MDF or chipboard like this is, but if you're using timber, it will expand and contract depending on what the weather is. For example, if you were to make this in winter or the wet season, it would have expanded. So then you glue this in place, you screw it down, it's held really, really tight, and then in summer and very hot weather, the moisture disappears, the timber wants to shrink, it can't shrink. So what it actually does, it finds the weakest part in the fibre and it splits. That's why a lot of times when you see furniture on the side casing, there's splits in it. I guarantee you have a look inside and they're going to have drawer runners or cleats and they're either glued or tightly screwed. Whereas having that little bit of play for your screw to be in, that allows that screw to move in and out on the cleat. So these are cut to size. I've drawn a mark here where I'm gonna have the shelf and the shelf would sit in like that. But instead of having a dado as we did in the project we're doing, what you can do is now get this cleat and on the bottom of where that drawer is. We'll just line it up. And I wouldn't use any glue on this at all. We'll just whack a couple of screws. Put in one screw. Then if you'd like, get a square and just square it up to make sure it's nice and square. that second screw in, make sure it's nice and square, there's the side and there's a, a cleat, I've got a couple of pre-drilled screw holes in the shelf, just line that up, And there's another way of securing bookshelves. A cleat on the bottom, and then a couple of screws to hold it in here. Whichever way's easiest. It's only to hold books after all.